Hi, I'm Kathy Cheek. Welcome to RCC Connections. If you can't figure it out, we are in the Cosmetology Studio. We're going to find out about this program. Would you believe there are 32 different subjects these students have to learn? So tell us a little bit about the Cosmetology program and what different things are involved other than just maybe what people normally think of fixing hair. I think most students are surprised to find out that we cover um, the anatomy, chemistry, electricity, um, and so much of the work that they do, they are actually preparing themselves for work later years, not necessarily what they're doing at the time, but to get dexterity and um, be able to do a full day's work. So what, we have a beginner class and advanced class, so kind of how, how long does the program take before graduation? The beginner's class is one semester, and they work on their techniques and practice on mannequins. Um, right now we did a half head of twisties, and then we are creating our own design on the back using a roller set, which we learned in the first week of class. It's kind of a review. So, kind of how long have you been in the program so far? We have only been here three weeks, but it is amazing what we have learned in those three weeks. We have done a mock state board haircut, learned um, four different braids, and learned how to use a roller set all in three weeks. What kind of homework do you have to do? Um, we have at least four chapters each time, and it consists of somewhere between 30 and 40 pages of actual written homework. And what kind of things are involved in that? So far we have got as far as the um, sanitation, the professionalism of being a cosmetologist and such. So we haven't got that far into it yet. But it's different things than what you're doing here in the yes, hands-on. Everything that we are learning in the classroom theory part is completely different than what we're learning in the salon. So we're kind of learning two concepts in one. And so what made you decide this is what you wanted to do? Um, it was just something that I had been wanting to do my entire life and finally just decided to go for it. It was such a great opportunity here at Rockingham to live close, work close, and get your dreams accomplished. And they come out on the floor and they're introduced to the public. Um, our doors open at 10:15 Monday through Thursday, and the public comes in, and we practice our haircuts and permanent waves and color and pedicures, manicures, almost anything. Now, do students kind of decide which, which of those things they're going to do? Like, do they say, I want to be a nail technician or, or whatever the appropriate term is, and they focus on that? Or is it like you learn it all? They learn it all here. We try to introduce them. There are 32 subjects and we try to introduce them to each one and then after they leave school and have passed the board then they will pursue their interest. The manicure, pedicuring, haircuts, color, perms, soft curls, relaxers, um, waxing, we introduce them to different waxing body parts but we only offer the facial to the public. Um, makeup, um, of course aesthetics, Mm -hmm. with the skin care and other problems. Now we're talking with Shane Artis. Shane, you're a junior in the program, mm -hmm. but you already have um, a license in a field part of this, right? Yes. Um, I'm a licensed massage therapist. I've been licensed for about four years now. Something I really, really, really love doing. So what brought you back to RCC? Um, I work in a salon in Eden um, at Better Look Salon, and I was wanting to add to my repertoire of things to offer clients. So far, um, we just finished with our skincare part this summer. That's been the most fun for me since that's kind of where I'm gearing towards more. But learning the new styles, because it's also new, the, the hairstyles and the nails, it's also new. So it's all been very fun so far. Um, we have to learn all the layers of the skin and what works best for oily skin versus dry skin, what things you can put on sensitive skin and what you can't. And do you learn about the muscles in the face yes. and all those kinds of things as well? Yes. Okay. And that helps for your, your natural facelift, <laughs> knowing which ways to massage the muscles to help tone the muscles and tone the skin. So at this point, what do you think has been your most challenging thing to have to learn? Uh, the most challenging for me are the haircuts. They're coming slowly, I'm getting them, but that's been the most challenging. And that's probably more nerves than anything. <laughs> um, it's very, been very fun, very informative. I've learned a lot so far. 
happy with with the choice to be here at RCC. So are you still working? Yes. So you're doing it all. Doing at one it time. all, full time school and working. So how do you manage that? It's difficult, but I know it's a temporary sacrifice that I'm making right now. Okay, so what about teaching them how to handle clients? Because surely not every person in the public is the most wonderful, right? That's true. <laughs> so um, give me we some. call that soft skills. Um, we teach them not only to get along with the public and how to handle themselves and try to keep it under control, but also how to work with each other. Teamwork is important in this business. Um, nobody lives on an island by themselves, so we have to learn to get along with others. And what about the business aspect? Like some of these may want to open their own shop. What about that part of, of cosmetology do you all do? Um, there is a lot. We have um, three chapters actually that handle those issues from applying for a job, what type of job you're looking for, what type of salon, because there are so many. Um, if you're going to go booth rental or if you're going to go to work for commission and we teach them how to figure their paychecks and understand how they're paid. We're talking with Misty Rose. Misty is an advanced student here in the cosmetology program. So um, tell me a little bit, what, what are some of the favorite things that you've been learning since you have to learn 32 different <laughs> items? Well, um, actually, the main things I really like uh, would have to be haircuts, hair color. Um, I like to do perms, um, hairstyles. Um, as far as facials, manicures, and all that, I mean, I like to do it, but my favorites are mainly the haircuts, hairstyles, and color. So that's kind of the route you want to go? Yeah. I, I want to do it all, but that's my main ones I want to do. What do you think has been the most challenging aspect of the program? The challenging, I would have to say, is getting clients in here, I would say. I mean, the other stuff, it kind of comes to you as you go. Um, it's just getting the people in here to do it all. That's the main challenge, I think. How is it different going from working on a mannequin to a person? Very different. Because a mannequin, it only has, you know, certain types of hair on it. So you're not getting the experience you can with a real person where you have all these different hair textures, hair... I mean, it's so much different. I mean, you can do so much more stuff with a live person than you can on a mannequin. So it's, it's very different, and it's a lot more better experience if you have the live people to do it on. So you guys are basically begging people to come get their hair and nails and everything done, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty and, much. And it's a great bargain. Oh, yeah, it is. It's very, it's very good. And, you know, I think if people would come in and get it done, they would see that it's not as intimidating as they think it is. Because, you know, we have our instructors to help us, and, you know, it's like, not like they're going to go out of here looking terrible or anything like that. So um, I think that's our main thing is just getting the people in here. So what kind of things are you guys graded on? Um, we're graded on sanitation. We're graded on um, our, how good it, like the finished product, how it looks, um, and if we do it the proper way, basically. Um, it's not too much that... You know, they grade on if, like, if you, um, say, if you, during a haircut, if you, I guess, miss a little spot or something like that, they, they're going to come over and they're going to help you to get to that point. So it's not really a grade on that. It's just how it looks at the end and if you did it right and did it the way you were supposed to. So, so you like your experience here at oh, CC? Yeah. yeah, I love it. Would you recommend other folks yeah. who are interested in coming here? I sure would. I, I mean, I've learned a lot here. I've experienced a lot. And... I, I'm very confident when I go out of here, so I'm ready to get out and get it done and get me a job. So how do you start teaching students how to cut hair or how to mix color? Um, at the beginning, you mm -hmm. teach them how to hold the shears, the parts of the shears, um, to make sure they're safe and the client's safe. Um, and we try to teach them good habits 